coming down or just staying smooth? Kristen Faluda, Carlos and Puerto. You cannot buy the revolution. You cannot make the revolution. You can only be the revolution. It is in your spirit or it is nowhere. Ursula K. Le Guin. No growth without suffering. No evolution without letting go of habit-forming thoughts. You cannot help until you can imagine the other as your mother. Begin transformations, divine spin. Experience the benign vertigo of new worlds born within. Hunger blues. The endless search for the perfect word. The precise choice. A sigil with the weight to convey the roiling hunger of this skin. The loneliness of the heart. Dying without the reassurance of a hand upon our flesh. Phantasmagoria, tendrils of color undulate in Jackson Pollock ecstasy. The myoclonic twitch of a thousand kisses upon the eyelashes stirs as long ago slights and victories play on a somnolent stage. Threatened. Threatened always by the interruption of encroaching daylight. Cascading stars implode in reverse time lapse, leaving immense darkness in their wake. Syncopated time. Steel type, 
swings down with force enough to strike through the aching emptiness of the blank sheet in repose, enough to cause the page to ripple with a quiver, then allow you to flip her over, trembling in anticipation of the next offering, the impression of a thousand sigils dripping in reverse. These leaves of grass yawp as they reverberate with the promise of the dawn. Centennial, the 100th birthday of Charles Mingus. He has a great book I really recommend to you called Beneath the Underdog. Beautiful story, written so with such power. Uh, and this is a piece that when I'm when I'm fortunate enough to be able to have good musicians behind me, then I, I'd, I'd love to read this piece by Mingus and it seems like the right time to do it. It's just a um, an excerpt from that great book, Beneath the Underdog. Check it out if you uh, want to hear it. Good story, well told. It's a kind of an unreliable narrator, but nobody gives a shit, you know? It's a beautiful story. <laughs> for love of loving to do so and living with this its own life secret in and again of life loving itself loving of life itself for good and evil because it is beautiful to have this life in itself alive to grow see it be it watch it love it and no and no that make it so as we make love as we each love it in our own way and that is why it is that thought came to be in us as human beings that can know if we care to that we are the secret knowing of the sacred conception as two opposites in force of love's expression grew in a togetherness out of the nothingness of empty space and time and this is our universe of knowing and talking about it it's all, all is where the womb of the creative knowledge lay. For all the knowledge of life or death. Hello! Lonely! Lonesome! Life! Living alive and caring to communicate. 
sinner speak with itself of its sacred knowing of its own creation cannot speak to itself except through its mind in us of its personal sacred secrets of knowing and not knowing life is born out of nothingness time and space or an eye and an eye and an eye and an eye that we do comprehend possible that it came to be other than I plus the I equals a new I of mating of something and nothingness of two or love and loving to do so and born alive to this life as one knowing its beginning as no more threat as its knowing and its knowing has no more ending than its beginning from nothing to nothing but knowing all the while the eternity's incarnation is proof of my life's graves and incarnation. Quartet. Woo! 